To get a top rank in GATE, it is always better to start on time and if possible, start early because there are so many things to manage, so many concepts to learn, lots of numericals to solve. But still, many students who start early or who start on time, they are not able to effectively continue their preparation because they follow a wrong preparation plan. They waste a lot of time from March to June and because of that, the syllabus completion gets delayed and the entire gate attempt gets wasted. So this video is going to be an eye-opener for you. If you follow and implement what I am about to tell you, this video will save one entire year of preparation for you and in the next gate itself, you will get a top rank. Now when a gate aspirant starts his gate preparation, the enthusiasm, the josh is very high. They want to study as much as possible, they want to study everything. They forget that it's a limited time exam. You cannot give entire of your focus or months of months of time just for one or two subjects. You have many more topics or subjects to cover. You have revision to do. You have to master numerical solving. You have to attempt test series, question bank, TSP. So many things are there. You have to manage a lot of things. But in the initial josh or enthusiasm, they forget it. They start reading randomly, things randomly, even irrelevant topics, giving too much of time or focus on those topics or subjects where it is not required because whatever you are doing today will affect your tomorrow, which will affect day after tomorrow and eventually your entire preparation. So you have to keep in mind the long term approach. The long term approach, firstly you have to decide which one approach am I going to choose for my entire preparation? When will I complete the syllabus? How will I revise? When will I start solving questions? All these things should be planned in advance before you start your preparation. Otherwise, what will happen? After 2-3 months, you will realize that hey, time is very less now. Even lesser time is left now. 9 months, 10 months are left now. And I have just covered one subject or two subject. Then again, you will search for a gate preparation plan. What will happen then? Again, you will start on a new journey. Then again, you will not be able to manage numericals. And then again, in September, you will realize that, hey, I know nothing in the syllabus. I, I have not solved any of the numericals. Syllabus is also pending. What to do? Again, you will search six year preparation, six month preparation plan. So eventually, if you do not have a proper planning for entire year, Every two months, your plan will keep on changing. At the end of the year, neither syllabus will be over, nor numerical skills will be developed, no revision will be there. Eventually, entire year will get wasted. Isilie, it is very, very much important that from day one itself, you should know what approach am I going to follow. Agar I am subject abhi hu, if I am studying that subject, in what time I should be able to finish and start the next one. What is my strategy for revision of completed subjects? All these things you have to plan in advance. Otherwise, be ready for another attempt of GATE. So in this video, I will be sharing two approaches with you, two long-term approaches, which you can use for your GATE preparation. I will start with approach number one. And towards the end of the video, I will discuss approach number two. And based upon how much time you are able to give daily to GATE preparation, based upon whether you are in college, how hectic the college is, whether you are in a job, how is the job profile, etc, etc. Based on these things, you can pick your approach, whether you will go with approach 1 or with approach 2. In the end, I will also give you some tips regarding what you can do, how you can decide which approach is better for you. I will tell you that. But before that, we need to cover both the approaches. So I will start with approach number 1 and I will discuss approach number 1 in lot more detail. Approach number 2, I will tell you how you can modify approach 1 to make approach 2. So make sure to fully understand what I am trying to tell you, you watch till the end both the approaches you understand. How are they fundamentally different from each other or whether some new approach will be suitable for you, which again I will discuss towards the end of the video when you will be knowing about both these approaches. So let us start with approach number 1. What happens in approach number one, your focus should be 
on finishing the syllabus properly but within time by September mid or September end you should focus on finishing the syllabus. If I count from today there are approximately 30 three zero weeks till September end and let's say approximately 10 subjects are there. So on an average three weeks you have to finish the syllabus of any one subject average time I am telling you there will be some subjects which will take longer than three weeks and some subjects which will take shorter or lesser than three weeks. So this is the average time. This will ensure that by September end your syllabus is over. But what exactly do I mean by syllabus and how will you ensure that your numerical solving is also getting strong? How will you ensure your revision is also getting done in this meantime? Don't worry, I am telling this to you. I am not saying that only syllabus will be covered till September. What else do you have to manage with syllabus? Point number one, when I am saying syllabus, I don't just mean the theory part. I am not saying that you just cover the syllabus, the theory, derivation, which are relevant and the formulae and single line concepts. No, not this, just that. You have to go through solved examples also. Bhai. If you are watching the video course, obviously, by the time you, you reach, uh, you know, the, uh, the end of a topic, there will be some solved examples from that topic. And as I always encourage, don't watch solved examples like a lecture. You watch the question, you pause, you try to solve and then you watch the entire solution. So that in a way builds your uh, practice of question solving parallelly as well. And you learn a lots and lots of things from solved examples. You already know that how I explain solved examples. So that will teach you numerical solving skills as well in parallel to your syllabus completion because you are watching any lecture or course obviously it has solved examples within. So, so when I am saying syllabus by September I am considering I am including solved examples as well. So you are in touch with numericals and you know not just solved examples in this time you have to cover PYQs as well previous year questions as well parallelly you have to solve you are completing a topic you are completing a unit go ahead solve PYQs of that topic of that unit. How long you have to go back? 5 years, 10 years, 15, 20, 30, 35 years. Kitne pichle saal ke PYQ solve karne? So I will make a separate video on how to solve PYQs. For now, up 15, 20 years ka to at least you try to solve, right? Ideally you should go back because it's just questions for you to practice. What's the harm? There's no harm in it. But yeah, Considering that some of the questions may not be relevant from today's point of view, the way exams are conducted these days. So, starting point, let's say, is 20 years back. Time bach hai, you go ahead 30 years, 35 years, but 15, 20 years ke to aapko abhi kar nahi hai. As I told you, I'll make a separate video, usme mein aur detail mein jaunga is PYQs ke. Frankly speaking, almost 80% PYQ questions would be very doable and very easy to solve. In the exam pressure, same question may feel difficult, but outside of exam hall, you will not be solving PYQs in exam hall, right? You are solving it in the, uh, in your room, in your hostel, in your home. So you will be easily able to solve 80% of PYQs. So that will not, you know, challenge your mind much. That is why parallelly it is recommended to solve TSPs, topic wise solved problems, which will make sure that you, your brain is getting accustomed, your brain, brain is getting habitual to the numerical part as well. You know one thing about TSP, the questions are topic wise. Each and every small topic is touched. So if there is some topic where you feel you are not comfortable, means you don't need to practice a lot of questions, you can skip that topic's TSP. But if there is some topic where you feel underconfident, or you feel, yaar, isme to dikkat ho rahi hai mujhe, let's solve some more question. PYQs mein utne mazedar questions nahi mil rahe hai, or I am not getting the confidence by solving PYQs of this topic. Go ahead, solve TSP of that topic. So, ye cheeze aapko manage karni hai till mid or end September. What about notes making? You are watching this course, you are watching the videos, you are covering the syllabus, you have to maintain notes. Some of you will say, sir, I already have study material, sir, I have class notes, etc, etc. No, 
that's not the point which, for what I am trying to convey. There are multiple reasons to maintain notes. When you are watching a lecture, firstly you should try to write down whatever you think you are able to grasp. These will be your long notes. It could include derivations also. It could include many of the things that I am telling. You may not have to refer to these notes, but it is building your memory. Whatever you are writing is getting more strongly stored if you are parallelly writing as compared to just watching and in the end you got the notes. That's the worse approach. Better is to write down. Don't worry about your handwriting. These are major notes. Don't focus on handwriting and colors in your major notes. We will come to that in the short notes. In the major notes, you are just trying to write down. Maybe aapne kuch padha or do din baad you want to refer it back. So you can just go to your major notes and see it. Obviously, you have lecture access. You can watch it in lecture also. But major purpose jo hai, ye jo long notes ka. This is just to ensure you are learning things properly. It is getting registered properly in your mind. That's the main purpose. The purpose is not revision. For revision, you have to make short notes. So making short notes again is not a big task. It just includes formulae and single line concepts from the major notes. So these things, notes making, you have to do parallel. This is very important. Many students skip it. They don't make it. They look, if you are thinking that major notes, it's getting a lot of time that you can skip. It's all right because I'm telling you, you will have to rarely, you know, uh, uh, refer major notes because anything major you want to see you have course access video access you can go and watch there right the short notes is the main crux short notes is the main thing where you have to revise things on a daily regular cyclic basis and this is where revision comes in yes September end Tuck. You just don't have to watch lectures and PYQ you have to revise daily 30 minutes, 35 minutes, 40, 45 minutes, maybe one hour. But daily you have to revise, cyclic revision you have to do. Whatever subject you will keep on completing, keep adding them to the cycle and do the cyclic revision. I have already talked about this many times. So I am not repeating how and why you should do cyclic revision. But this is something for which daily you have to do. You do it while having your lunch, you're having your dinner, while traveling, while in college, while in job, while in break. I don't care. You have to revise daily. And that revision time should not affect your other things. It should be done in such a way. As I told you, if you notice 10, 10, 15, 15 minutes, if you save, it will become one hour. That one hour you use in your revision. I don't care. But daily you have to revise without affecting the other things. So this is what you have to focus on to complete by September mid or September end. What did I tell you? Syllabus, PYQs, TSPs, some topics where you think you are weak or where you want to practice more and notes making, especially mainly short notes you have to make that short notes will be used for revision. Revision I am not telling you have to do because revision is something you have to do throughout entire year. This is not your school uh, exam. Ki I will revise one week, 10 days before gate. I have already talked about this. Otherwise, this video will get very long. So daily you have to revise. I am not counting revision as something new or different you have to do. It should become a part of your life. Daily you have to do. So this is approach which you have to follow till September. Now what you have to do in October? In October, you have to do one major revision. Major revision means whatever you are, your short notes are, you are having. Rather than having quick revisions, take time. Think about that topic. Think about that formula. Do you know everything about that formula, how it came? If no, go watch lectures. You can watch that at 1.5x, 2x. Or if you have made major notes, you can refer to that as well. But one proper full revision of your syllabus of mechanical engineering you have to do in the month of October. But remember that this major revision will work properly only and only if you have done cyclic revision throughout the time till September end. If you were not doing revision, it will take you many weeks to do revision. If you think, you know, no, if sir has told major revision in October, so let's revise in October only. I will not revise till September. Let me tell you, it will take you many weeks, even more than one month 
to do one major revision. That is why if you are not doing cyclic revision, this plan will not work for you. Adha adhura, don't try to understand. That's why I am telling you everything with reason. If in October you want to do one major revision, you should be doing cyclic revision. Only then it will make sense. In fact, let me tell you, if you are doing properly cyclic revision, properly, by the time you reach October, already 4-5 times you would have revised everything. It is possible that in October you will say, Array, why should I give entire month to revision? Yaar, I already remember all the, all the formula and concepts. Why should I waste one month in revision? So this is possible that this October thing which I am telling you, no? if you are properly doing cyclic revision, you will not require to do the one major revision. You will be saying, I remember everything. I don't need major revision. Let us jump to next step. But on the other hand, if you are not doing cyclic revision, this will not work for you. Major revision will take many weeks and months and your entire plan will just, uh, you know, get disturbed. So make sure to realize the importance of cyclic revision. So considering you are doing cyclic revision in the month of October, easily you will be able to do the major revision. In this time, if possible, if you have parallel time left, Start solving question bank. Okay, some of the questions of question bank. Why am I telling this to you? Because from next month means from November, November, December, January, three months you have to entirely dedicate to numerical solving, to numerical solving skills. Means question bank you have to finish, test series you have to finish between different tests. You can attempt TSPs. So lots and lots of questions you will be solving in last three months. That will be only and only possible if your syllabus is over and you know the formula. That is the importance of following this approach diligently. Imagine you are in October, you have finished the syllabus, you have revised everything, you know the formula, you know the single line concepts. Now let the game begin. Let, let's solve questions and learn more and more mistakes, right? Many mistakes you will do while solving questions, silly mistake, calculation mistakes, etc, etc. Make those mistakes, learn from them, make a strategy. All those things are in the last three months strategy thing. So that's what this approach is all about. If you are following it properly and seriously from today itself, you must have realized one thing that you don't have a lot of time left. You might be thinking, Aray, there's one year left, lots and lots of time. No, it is not. If you think completing this syllabus will make you a topper, then I think this is your first attempt. That only then you can think in such a way. Completing syllabus is nothing. It is just the first step, not even the first step. That's the beginning of real competition. Many students who have completed the syllabus, they attempt test, they are not able to cross 20 marks, 25 marks. You will realize that real game of gate begins after completing the syllabus, that's when the, uh, you know, numerical solving skills comes into the picture. And that's when you have to, that, that's where you have to excel. That's where you have to succeed. I'm sure you realize that majority gate aspirants are repeaters, right? If you are starting today, majority aspirants that will appear in next gate have already completed the syllabus by this time. When you are starting the first line of the first chapter. Majority aspirants of the gate which will sit with you, which will write gate with you, they have already completed the syllabus today, right? Last year itself they completed. So now they are focusing more on more on numericals. You have to compete with those. So you remember that finishing syllabus is not some big milestone which will make you a topper. It's a very regular thing. Everybody does that. But there's one thing which is very important here, which is timely completion of syllabus. Because if you gave too much time into cover, covering the syllabus, it will take you many months, more than one year. So you don't have to read random topics, right, left, top, bottom. No, you have to focus on what is relevant. But you don't have to be so uh, surface level in finishing the syllabus that you don't know the concepts even. You completed the unit, you will say, I completed. But one conceptual question you will not be able to answer. Why? Because upar upar se pad liya, formula dekh liya, derivation dekh liya upar upar se and you thought, aray, mera to syllabus khatam ho gaya. So there is, it's very much important to go into the topic at the right depth and the right width. Width means what topics you have to cover and at what depth. That is why it is important to 
have the right course with you. Ekdam frankly and very honestly, I am giving this advice to you. I don't want to waste your one or two years in this. I won't lie to you. Ki haan, yahan se dekh lo, YouTube se, YouTube se dekh lo, aise aise kar lo. Your time will get wasted and nothing else. Some topic you will read in too much detail. Some topic you will read superficially. You will not be able to finish this syllabus in time. That is why it is very much important to go with the right course, which will make sure that you are able to finish the things in the right depth without wasting your time, without teaching you random irrelevant topics. Only then you will be able to complete this syllabus in time. Only then you can dream of getting a top rank. If the syllabus is in January or December, mein you are completing, just forget that you are going to get a top rank in this gate. You next gate ka plan karo. So this is the importance of selecting the right course. Jo ek surgic mein mera pura focus rehta hai that I don't waste students time teaching and telling random irrelevant things which are not required. Knowing that will not add even single mark to your preparation. So I don't add those things into the course so that you are able to finish this syllabus in time. Haan, mera focus is a lot more on numericals and solved examples uh, part where I teach you numerical solving skills, how you can apply the things you know, kaise jo aap pad rahe ho, how to apply those in questions, how to approach that. That's why I'm saying, when I'm saying completion of syllabus, it does not mean ki bas course cover kar liya, theory cover kar li. Agar aap solved examples parallelly dekh rahe ho, you will get much better than anyone else who has just completed the syllabus. So is this ko dhyan rakna. Now, coming to approach number two. In the approach number two, jitna detail mein I have told approach number one, utni detail mein isme nahi ja raho, because lot of things are repetitive. There is one major change in the approach number two as compared to approach number one. That in addition to your completion of syllabus, PYQs and TSP and all, you are solving either question bank or test series, any one of these parallelly. Uska advantage kya hai? The advantage of this is that when you are covering a topic at that time itself, aap bahut kuch cheeze numerical aspect ki aur zyada cheeze you will be able to understand and add in your notes. Baad maybe you can add it to your notes, whatever additional thing you are learning, you can add, you can, uh, you know, take a paper slip, paste it in your notes. Obviously, you will be ha having some space. You can write down single line, single equation, etc. Later on as well. But if you do it from the beginning, it will not only be proper in your notes, but also proper in your mind. Because you will be knowing more about how they are going, going to be applied in high quality questions. So this is another approach which you can follow. Isse kya hoga? Syllabus thoda or late khatam hoga. Your syllabus will be over maybe by October or November. But at least your question bank or maybe some part of your test series, just like a topic test or subject test will be over. So last two months, you can fully focus on full length tests because question bank is over, topic and subject tests are also over. This is approach number two. This approach has more things to manage parallelly because already there were two, three things to manage, right? Covering the course, PYQ, notes making, Revision to throughout the year hota hi raega. Revision, cyclic revision to throughout the year hota raega. So I am not mentioning that. So jo cheeze approach one mein thi, you are adding one more thing to it with syllabus. So that makes it slightly hectic. So it is, that is why it is difficult to implement for many of you. Maybe jo job mein hai or college mein dekho, you get a lot of time. But yeah, ho sakta hai, sab parallel manage na ho paaye. Or ho paaye, so it will take you much more time. Ye, this approach can be preferred for two year preparation, not for one year preparation. If you are parallelly trying to solve, let's say, question bank also, or parallelly trying to solve, let's say, test series also. So that's preferred if you are, uh, you know, in your third year, or you have two years in your hands, or maybe in second year. That uh, this approach can be suited for those students because lots of things to manage. But just in case, if you are following approach number one, and aapko lag raha hai ki yaar I have time left, please go ahead and parallelly solve question bank. You will see many toppers have done that as well. So these are the two approaches based upon your profile, your time management, how much free time do you have? You can pick one of these approaches. 
ये वीडियो में आई हैव नॉट गॉन इन टू द कैलकुलेशन पार्ट कि इतने घंटे हैं प्रिपेरेशन के इतने घंटे आपको इसमें देने हैं आई एम ट्राइंग टू गिव यू एन ओवर व्यू इन दिस वीडियो दैट यू आर स्टार्टिंग गुड गेट प्रिपेरेशन राइट नाउ वेरी गुड बट डोंट टेक फॉर एवर टू कंप्लीट वन सब्जेक्ट शुरू शुरू में जोश हाई रहता है एज आई टोल्ड यू वॉट स्टूडेंट्स डू दे स्टार्ट रीडिंग रैंडम थिंग्स जो नहीं बोल रहा हूं मैं कोर्स में बोल जान बुझ के आई एम नॉट टेलिंग यू दैट बिकॉज इट इज इनरेलीवेंट बट आपको आ रहा है मजा आप रैंडम यहां वहां से पढ़ रहे हो टाइम वेस्ट कर रहे हो उसमें और ट्रैक से गलत डायरेक्शन में जा रहे हो दैट्स वाई आई एम टेलिंग यू दैट टाइम इज लिमिटेड एवरेज थ्री वीक्स टू बी गिवन फॉर वन सब्जेक्ट इट कैन बी प्लस माइनस वन वीक डिपेंडिंग अपॉन दैट सब्जेक्ट कि वो कितना इंटेंसिव या मेजर है बट दैट द एवरेज सो रिमेंबर दो दो महीने एक सब्जेक्ट में मत दे देना Because if you wasted one month, you don't know its impact. Syllabus will be over in December. एक महीने जनवरी में कुछ हो नहीं पाएगा न्यूमेरिकल सॉल्विंग एग्जाम स्ट्रेटेजी यू विल नॉट बी एबल टू रीच योर बेस्ट वो फिर से एक अटेम्प देना पड़ जाएगा सो दैट इज वाई फॉलो वट आई एम टेलिंग यू डिलीजेंटली आई एम टेलिंग दिस टू यू आफ्टर टॉकिंग टू हंड्रेड ऑफ टॉपर्स थ्रू आउट मेनी ईयर्स एंड वॉट स्ट्रैटेजी हैव दे फॉलोड दिस ईयर ऑल्सो many toppers have told you the uh, strategy right means uh, in in the last year also and this year also after gate results are out many of them will tell you even more strategies listen to those strategies try to pick something from their strategy ye koi rigid do strategy nahi hai jo maine batayi hai ki only two approaches are there make your own approach third approach you make you combine two things you you think nahi this one i will leave for later or this one i can add or this one i can modify go ahead i told you some of the toppers don't make long notes they directly make short notes some of them properly make long notes right every using color highlight everything then they convert to short notes so you will be able to find different types of approaches by a student see whichever is fitting in your timeline in your profile and follow that but what approach i told you 80% yahi rahega there can be 10 20% of fluctuation almost 85 90% yahi rahega 10% ka kuch you can fluctuate here and there but ye main approach you have to follow if you want to be a topper in next gate i wish you all the best if you have any question query feel free to ask me in the comment section i will reply to each and every comment i wish you all the best